What is up junior high ministry? As you can tell, I'm outside enjoying the blue skies, the crisp clean air, and the wet grass. I know with all this time on your hands, you guys are probably playing video games, watching Netflix, Disney Plus, taking some naps. So I wanted to try and get you guys outside. And this is my attempt. Through our devotion today, we're gonna to be outside. We're gonna be going through Psalm 62, two through eight. So grab your Bibles. I'll give you a quick second to grab them. Turn to Psalm 62, and we'll get going. Psalm 62, two through eight reads, He only is my rock and my salvation, my strength. I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will you assail a man that he may murder him? All of you like a leaning wall, like a tottering fence. They have counseled only to thrust him down from his high position. They delight in falsehood. They bless with their mouth, but inwardly they curse. Selah. Verse 5. My soul, wait in silence for God only. For my hope is from him. He is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be shaken. On God my salvation and my glory rest. The rock of my salvation, my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, O oh people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. So there's three things I wanna highlight from this passage. One thing about God, one thing about us, and then a takeaway for you guys. So one thing about God that this passage highlights is the fact that he is a stronghold. When you think of a stronghold, I want you to think of a castle perched on a hill with rock walls that are 50 feet thick, with tall towers on the corners so you can see the enemies coming from a distance. You have the drawbridge going over the moat so people can't just storm the, the, the castle. It's at a superior advantage to its opponents. And that helps in times of need, times of war. And God is that stronghold for our souls. So when you think of God pertaining to this passage, think of him as that, as that stronghold, that impenetrable fortress for our souls. And now let's talk about us. What does this say about us? Well, we're seeking a stronghold. We're always seeking for comfort, for protection. The question is, where are we seeking that in? Is it in things of this world, like grades, lofty dreams, lofty goals? Is it money? What is it in this world that you are seeking comfort in, seeking refuge in, it's going to eventually fade away, pass away, burn. So we need to put our hope in something that's going to last. We need to seek refuge in something that can't be overtaken, and that is God and God alone. So a takeaway, how do we apply this to our lives? We have to seek God. As we're filming this, it is Saturday, the day after Good Friday, we learned about the death of Christ and the high price that was paid for our sins. We need to accept that free gift, enter into the stronghold that God offers for our souls. And we do that by simply receiving the gift. And for those of you who are saved, it can look more like this. In times of need, where are you running to? Are you running to the Bible, into scripture? Reminding yourself of the truths of God, the characteristics of God, his faithfulness, his love, his sovereignty, his control. Do those things. In those times, force yourself to read scripture, read truths about God. And in those times, it may not make sense and you may not have a heart attached to it, but God works in mysterious ways. So I encourage you guys to remember the truths and characteristics of God. Now, I know we're, we're apart now. We look forward, I look forward to seeing you guys on Wednesdays and playing games and goofing around. This will all be over soon. I look forward to seeing you all and have a good week.